Hi, I'm Daniel from Sun Lover Heating and I'm going to take you through the setup and operation of your Sun Lover Heating Heat Command Controller. So the setup of your Sun Lover Heat Command Controller, uh, there are four points of connection. Firstly, your solar pump will be connected into the bottom of your solar heating controller. The power cord coming out of the solar heating controller will be connected to the power point. And you have two sensors here red one being a roof sensor that will run with your solar heating pipes up to the roof. The blue one being your cold water sensor that will run down and sit in front of your solar heating pump. Okay, so the Sun Lover Heating Heat Command Controller is a set and forget controller with three modes available. First mode being your automatic summer mode. All you need to do is set your temperature, for example, 28 degrees. And the way that the Sun Lover Heating Controller works is takes a pool reading, which is your pipe reading, a roof temperature reading, and will start to heat when the roof temperature is 10 degrees warmer than the pool water. So once you have set your temperature, your limit sign will flash and your temperature is now set. The controller is now in an automatic mode and will run just like a thermostat until either there is no longer enough heat available on the roof or until your pool has reached temperature. There are two other modes in the controller. Firstly, a manual mode, if you ever need to run your pump manually, you simply hold the up button until the limit reaches 40, and then the manual symbol appears. When that manual symbol flashes, it is now in manual mode. There is a 30 minute lockout for the manual mode, so if you leave it on, it will shut down and return to automatic mode after 30 minutes. The other mode is our winter mode. So at the end of the season, when you're shutting down your pool, you're required to put the system into winter mode to run the pump for five minutes every day to keep the pump healthy and keep the, the collector flushed out on the roof. The way we put it into winter mode is the opposite to manual mode. We hold the down button until we reach 20 degrees and the winter symbol appears. Once the winter symbol appears, that's now in winter mode and will run the pump for five minutes every day, but will not allow any heating based on roof temperature or pool temperature. The two most common faults that can happen with a solar controller are disconnection or failure of the sensors. The solar controller is self-diagnosing and will tell you if there are any issues with the sensors themselves. For example, if I was to disconnect this roof sensor here, the controller will realize that the roof sensor is disconnected and give you a fault diagnosis. For example, gear roof sensor disconnected or open circuit. Now what you can do is check that your sensor is in fact connected underneath the controller. If everything is connected and seems fine, there may be a fault with the roof sensor itself. And what you can do is contact Sun Lover Heating on the number provided on the top of the solar controller. That concludes our instructional video on the Sun Lover Heating Heat Command Controller. If there are any issues with the unit itself, you can contact us on the number provided on the faceplate. Alternatively, if you are looking for instructional manuals, they are all on our website at sunloverheating.com.au.